contradict their own foundations. Now, I got abused by Krugman in the page of the New York, or the, the, the web page of the New York Times, uh, for characterizing the neoclassical model as being like the old model of uh, Ptolemaic astronomy, where everything was seemed to be circular motion. And then to actually make it fit the reality that the planets would therefore reverse direction around the Earth if that were so, they added epicycles on the main, the main deference cycles. This is not me saying these current quotes here. Have a guess who it is. The preferred model has a single agent optimising over infinite time with perfect foresight, rational expectations, uh, flawlessly realising them through perfectly competitive forward-looking markets for goods and labour, blah, blah, blah. How could anyone expect a sensible short to medium macro to come out of that setup? It was Robert Solow. He's been screaming at these guys for a decade or more, saying what you've done is totally nonsensical. You can't do macroeconomics this way, and they've ignored him. It's not just me being put down by these guys, it's Robert Solow being ignored as well which is ironic given his role in the capital controversies. Though I will admit, he at least he joined the debate. And then he talks about the epicycle editions by the uh, new classical, by the new Keynes. You think they're so different. I had one of these, and he's a nice bloke, Mark Thomas, I must say. I enjoyed meeting Mark in Berlin. I think I've got a chance for a dialogue with him, which is tremendous. I do want to have dialogue. But um, they got really angry when I said they're related to the real business cycle mob by adding on frictions and so on. Well, this is Robert Solo saying the same thing. The basic model has perfectly smooth motion. The new, the new Keynesian model adds in little wobbles and frictions to try to get the results that fit the data. So you see, he actually calls them freer spirits than the real business cycle, which will really annoy them, school. He said, this then sounds better and fits the data, but well, duh, intelligent economists chose these numbers to make it fit the data better. Not because it explains it any better. Again, it's like epicycles on the Ptolemaic vision of how the uh, solar system works. Now, Solo pointed out one of the major reasons why these guys can't be trusted, not knowing their own literature. And he said they, they defend it by saying it's derived from general equilibrium, and therefore it's superior to models that don't have the strict deep foundations and the deep structural parameters of the theory. And he said they call these DSGE models. I got, I got knocked for using exactly the same classification that, uh, that Solo did here. I found it very, very funny. And he says the cover story. This is what he's calling it. And that's, again, like Anne's comments about those guys, can in no way justify using this representative agent abstraction. And he talks about what are called the sonnenschein mantel de Broer conditions. Now, ram this down their throats, people, because these invalidate not just the micro-foundations of macroeconomics, they even invalidate being able to do supply and demand in a single market. Because what they prove, the sounds it's putting it the way that a mathem mathem mathematical economist does, they say every polynomial can be an excess demand function in some given market. Now, polynomial is a squiggly line that doesn't cross itself and doesn't go up, doesn't go up, up and have two values for the one input. Any line you draw like that is a valid market demand curve. So market demand curves do not obey the law of demand and therefore there's no way you can treat a single market as being a blown up consumer. So if you had Crusoe to Robin, and Robinson Crusoe to Friday, both of whom have neoclassical utility functions, that's the market demand curve you can get. You can't even do supply and demand analysis with that. And yet they treat the entire macroeconomy as one scale up individual, if you're lucky too. Uh, so their advice is useless. Ignore them. <laughs> like they've been ignoring us for the last six years, six decades. So back to 